Young Clarence Mitchell was greatly admired even as a very young man. He was very intense in his desire to improve his life and the life of his others. He was very charming, a very pleasant young man. I don't know anyone who didn't admire, even then, admire him and respect him. I think, as I said before, Clarence Mitchell had a desire to improve things for others and his people. And though it was dangerous for him, he was not afraid. I don't think he knew fear. To go and try and do whatever it took to improve the situation and make others aware of what was happening. Young Juanita, though very, very young, was one of the most remarkable young women of her time. She too, like her future husband then, was anxious to make things better, to improve the opportunities for her people. And she too worked diligently, at that time with her mother, who to me was the spearhead of the push to help the blacks in Baltimore. But Juanita was very inspiring. She, she was never without a smile never withdrawn at any time, and always there to offer encouragement to others. And it made all young women want to be like her. But after the Elmwood lynching, and Clarence told us in detail exactly what happened we were horrified. There were tears. And in the course of that, it was suggested that we write to the Senate uh, protesting and that a bill be made, passed, to make it a criminal offense, lynching. The young people wrote, and the parents were fired up, and they wrote too. I think we bombarded them with letters. 